<laughs> Welcome back, fellow enthusiasts. Today, we jump into the enchanting world of leprechauns. Get ready to uncover their secrets and fascinating tales of this mythical fair folk. We discuss typical leprechaun behavior and personality traits. Briefly explain how you can catch a leprechaun. We explore where their origin lies and why they are immensely popular. If you are wondering if this creature is more than just a legend, then you better stick around. We do have an interesting bonus for you. Let's start by delving deeper into what a leprechaun truly represents. The stereotypical leprechaun is a tiny, hardworking, exclusively male, solitary, and short-tempered being of Irish folklore. They have a small posture of about three feet tall, depicted in Irish green traditional attire and typical antique hat, with an old withered face with mischievous grin. They are a famous trickster figure who cannot be trusted and has captivated people worldwide for decades. They belong to the fair folk or fairy tales, which originally refers to a whole bunch of fantasy creatures, such as dwarfs, witches, dragons, gnomes, werewolves, imps, and of course fairies, etc. You will find this lucky charm fairy when you make it to the end of the rainbow, where he is also supposed to hide his pot of gold. Now let's explore the origins of these mischievous creatures. Leprechauns are one of the most enduring myths in ancient Irish folklore, and its origin can be traced back to the 8th century, to a mystical type of fairy believed to be descendants of Tuhath de Danann. This mythical race was skilled craftsmen, and leprechauns inherited their craftsmanship and fondness for gold. The earliest known reference to the leprechaun appears in the 8th century medieval tale known as the Adventure of Fergus son of Leti, in which the king of Ulster falls asleep on the beach and upon waking he finds himself being dragged into the sea by three leprechauns. He captures his abductors, who grant him three wishes in exchange for his release. The story further explores themes of heroism, bravery, and the interaction between the mortal and fairy realms, and highlights the supernatural elements of Irish mythology. In more recent history, the Irish poet William Butler Yeats mentioned in 1888 that he was informed that this tiny feisty shoemaker probably got his name from the Gaelic term, Lathbrol, which means one shoemaker, since he generally is seen working at a single shoe. Over time, leprechauns became solitary beings, always hardworking making shoes for their fairy friends and making a decent income of it, since fairies pay in gold. This trade made them hungry for gold, extremely cautious and protective, while guarding their treasure hidden deep within the Irish countryside. They are unique creatures, not easily classified as elves or dwarves, but more like old, wise, and greedy little men, often with a cocked hat and leather apron. Have you ever wondered how to catch a leprechaun and claim their fabled pot of gold? It is certainly not an easy task, Legend has it that leprechauns are cunning tricksters, capable of vanishing in an instant and leave you disillusioned and empty-handed. There are several interesting stories about trips and traps involving them and their bottomless pot of gold. What better way than to share one of those interesting tales with you now? Once upon a time, in the vibrant landscapes of Ireland, a legend whispered among villagers. They believed that at the end of every rainbow, a leprechaun guarded a pot overflowing with gold. This tale ignited the imaginations of those seeking fortune, and soon, a local gold rush began. In a small village nestled among rolling hills, a determined lad named Liam was captivated by the stories. He became infected with the gold fever and was determined to find this legendary treasure. With a twinkle in his eye and a heart full of hope, he embarked on an adventure following a rainbow that stretched across the horizon. Days turned into weeks as Liam chased the elusive rainbow, guided by its ethereal glow. He traversed fields, forests, and meadows, encountering sparkling streams and wildflowers, always accompanied by the beautiful bird songs. But the end of the rainbow always remained out of reach, seemingly taunting him. Undiscouraged, Liam sat down, 
and he hatched a plan, thinking, if I can't go to the pot, then let the gold come to me. He set a trap near a colossal oak tree by fabricating a fancy-looking treasure chest and placing it near the tree. He hid, hoping to catch the leprechaun's curiosity. That evening when twilight struck, a tinkling sound filled the air, and all of a sudden, before Liam's eyes stood an actual leprechaun checking out the chest. Liam jumped on him. The leprechaun tried to disappear, but Liam was quick and managed to capture him. Refusing to release the leprechaun, Liam held him tight. In a desperate attempt to secure his freedom, the leprechaun offered Liam three wishes. In return, he would reveal the location of his gold. Liam agreed, and together they embarked on a forced journey through an enchanting woodland filled with bluebells. Their adventure led them to a vast meadow, where the leprechaun stopped. With curiosity in his eyes, Liam asked him if they had arrived at the treasure's location. The leprechaun nodded acknowledging, and Liam made his first wish, asking him to see the exact spot. The leprechaun grinned mischievously and placed his cane in the ground a few meters away. Confused but intrigued, Liam questioned the meaning of what's happening. The leprechaun cautiously explained that it was a clue to the treasure's whereabouts. However, a problem arose. They had no spade to dig up the pot of gold, which was hidden deeper underground, according to the leprechaun's amusement. Determined, Liam set out to find a spade. The leprechaun promised to leave the stick alone, as he is obliged to do so. Thus, Liam ventured into neighboring villages, traversed rolling hills, and eventually obtained a steady shovel from a kind-hearted farmer. Filled with anticipation, he returned to the meadow, ready to unearth his wealth. As the sun began to set, Liam arrived, hopeful and excited. But confusion washed over him as he discovered that the meadow was now filled with the same kind of canes. The leprechaun had played a trick on Liam, leaving him in a state of bewilderment. Determined, Liam examined each stick meticulously, searching for a clue or glimmer of truth. However, the meadow had become a sea of sticks, making it impossible to discern the exact location of the pot of gold. Realizing the futility of his efforts, Liam let out a hearty laugh. The leprechaun had outwitted him, leaving him empty-handed once again. But as he turned away from the meadow, waving a fun farewell to the mischievous leprechaun, he felt a newfound wisdom settle within him. That night, in Liam's dream, the leprechaun appeared and whispered, The pot of gold lies not at the end of the rainbow, but within your heart. True riches are found in love, kindness, and the pursuit of dreams. With a twinkle in his eye, the leprechaun vanished, leaving Liam with a deep understanding. Inspired by the leprechaun's wisdom, Liam embraced a new perspective. He realized that the pot of gold was merely a mythical dream, and true treasure lay not in material wealth, but in a joyous journey and the lessons learned along the way. Liam now shares his newfound wisdom through his YouTube channel, Mythical Creatures, captivating audiences with his enchanting tales. This story went a bit deeper than you thought, right? It must make you wonder who has the last laugh. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating episodes. Now the burning question. How did leprechauns become so popular? While there is no concrete evidence to prove their existence, their legacy lives on through centuries of folklore. Some claim even to have encountered glimpses of their distinctive persona or experienced their mischievous pranks. Some say that the leprechaun's image grew closer to typical Irish prejudices as happy, joyfully dancing and drinking people, always on the lookout for good luck. Their dual nature, simultaneously alluring and unpredictable, adds an element of excitement to tales. Whether these fays are real or not, the typical laughing leprechaun image and their stories capture our imaginations worldwide. Partly, because Irish immigrants settled in various countries over the last centuries, they carried their stories, traditions, green attire, including their lucky shamrocks and mischievous leprechauns, and brought them to life overseas. The leprechaun's traits, 
together with the Irish harp and the shamrock, transformed into symbols of Ireland and got unfairly linked to March 17, the cultural celebration of Irish heritage, St. Patrick's Day. And there you have it, fellow enthusiasts, a glimpse into the enchanting world of leprechauns and Irishness. Ultimately, tales of the leprechaun are not to be taken too seriously and mainly serve to amuse and delight us and to captivate our imaginations. You just never know what will happen once a leprechaun comes into play. Even if it's one of those odd leprechaun slasher horror movies, which by the way also contributed to giving them a scarier image. Whether you believe in their existence or appreciate them as a myth, the tales of these mischievous beings and their fabled pots of gold have left an indelible mark on folklore and popular culture. Until next time, stay curious, keep exploring, and keep wondering, because the world is full of mysteries waiting to be uncovered.